Say goodbye to the Tidal Force. I'm uh, getting ready to take it all apart right now. I'm going to pull it all apart and uh, open up the controller and see if I can enable my regen for my new build. Something that I'm interested in looking into. Since I'm going to have nice dropouts, I won't even need torque arms on my new frame. So uh, let's pull this thing apart. Alright, we're halfway through the teardown. I got the wheels off, controller off. I uh, took the throttle wiring apart and tried to keep track of all the wiring. I marked it all with colored tape and uh, time to finish it up. Well, good news. I got my uh, frame in the mail. This is the Genesis full suspension frame that I'm getting uh, that far full custom uh, swing arm made for. Uh, I got it used, so it's got a bunch of scratches on it, but it's in uh, overall good condition. I don't even think uh, the second owner used the thing at all. He just kind of had it and shipped it out. But uh, now I need to size up my shock, see if it fits in there, and uh, then measure my triangle. It's smaller than I thought it was, which is disappointing. That's kind of half the reason I was going back to a full suspension frame, was to get a little more triangle room, but... Okay, I got the shock installed. Uh, everything went good. It's pretty cool. I was able to use all the stock hardware that was just on the bike. I didn't have to use any of the hardware that came with the shock. It was all different size anyway, but uh, the shock went on nice. Went a little overkill on the shock. I went with a 750. It's a 165 millimeter. I'm just uh, hoping that the height of it will be good when I get my swing arm and everything goes together. We'll see. All right, we got some progress on the bike. Uh, as you can see, I got the front bomber forks on. I have a sealed headset I installed also. Got a couple of things holding up the project right now. Uh, although I do have my new front rim, I swapped over my rotor. It's a 20 millimeter through axle. And I got my new tires, Cyclops CSTs or whatever they're called. Uh, one issue I had was because I went to downhill forks, I have the 31.8 millimeter headset and I have the old mountain bike regular handlebars here that are like 22 or something. So they're way smaller and don't fit up. So I'm ordering new handlebars right now and I'm also ordering a tool so I can put on my bottom bracket. So that's coming in and uh, then we'll be a little bit better. But for now I'm going to put my tire on my rim, get that mounted onto the front here and see how far I can go. I, d I still don't have my swing arm, but uh, I'm just going to kind of keep doing what I can do until I get everything, you know? Alright, I got the new front tire on and mounted. That's the uh, 26 by 2.4 Cyclops CSTs. Looks like a pretty decent tread. Nice and wide. Let's see how it fills out the front of the mountain bike fork. Yeah, it's gonna fill it up nice. Let's try to get it in there and uh, grease up my through axle and put it in place. All right, I got the tire mounted on the rear motor as well. So I got uh, both new tires on. I just gotta put on the new uh, back rotor. I'm gonna do that now and then we're good to go. All right, got the new disc rotor on, and uh, we're good to go. Quite a bit of progress. Uh, the only thing I'm kind of held up on is my handlebars and my swing arm. So once I get that stuff, we'll be ready to rock and roll.